Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use a data table in Hiptist. Here is a very basic scenario. The first step is, given I go to the landing page. I want to add a second step, a message should be displayed. For this second step, I will reuse an existing action word. I just need to begin to write to have suggestions. You can see the action word, here, in the suggestion part. This action word has an inline parameter named, P1. An inline parameter is always surrounded by double quotes. So I select it. You can see that the value of the parameter is empty. You can fill it in. If you want, as an action word is a reusable step, you can call it again with another value. For example, Now, it's time to use a data table. This scenario already contains a data table with two columns. I want to use the first column welcome message as a parameter value of the second step. When you create a column, you can use the column name as variable. To use variable as a parameter value, you have to prefix it with equal. For example, welcome message. That's it, you use the data table in your scenario. As the data table has three lines, you obtain three tests, the first, the second and the third and you can see here the value of the data table. Now, if you want to rename an action word, click on the name and not in the parameter value. In this view, you can't see the value of the parameter because, you see the action word name. Rename it and select Rename Everywhere to apply the modification on all scenarios. If you want to create a new action word, you can do it directly in the step editor. Hiptist will detect automatically that you want to use the data table column. That's it, you know now how to use a data table in Hiptist. I hope this video helps you. Goodbye.